Hi everyone, so I am here to do a Friday 5 video. I have not done a Friday 5 video in the longest time, well, maybe about a month or so. But, um, since we have no set prompts at the moment, I decided to just do a wild card kind of thing. And what I'm going to be doing is pairing uh, books that I love with songs that I like. So here goes. At number five, I am pairing The Giver with um, Savages by Marina and the Diamonds. So when I was thinking about this list, I was thinking about, you know, songs that would fit, maybe, you know, if I thought it would fit like in the movie soundtrack, if I thought it just fit with one of the characters, the overall plot. And so, um, the, the reason I picked this one is because everything she says in this song is kind of in part why the society of, uh, Jonas's uh, community in The Giver exists. So the song talks about um, human nature and how flawed we are um, underneath perfection that um, human beings are basically animals and it can be vicious and immoral and everything. But then again, there's also, you know, some people that are good. Um, and it, it kind of contrasts, you know, with the idea of the giver because they live in this, in this society where people are really not allowed to be human. And so I thought it, it was just an interesting pairing. Um, for number uh, four, I have picked Mockingjay. Now I had just finished the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, which is the Hunger Games prequel. I've waited a year for this, and I, I did a review on it in my wrap up, but I, I think I'm going to make a longer video because I have a few things to say, a few things to complain about, and etc. But, um, I don't know, I, I just feel that Mockingjay gets a lot of crap, and I think it's a better book upon reread. The song I've picked for this one is um, Lost in Paradise by Evanescence. It just feels like a song that would belong to Katniss. The sense of hopelessness, of letting people down, uh, maybe hoping for a better future and kind of being lost in what you are now. At number three, I have picked um, Looking for Alaska. Now, I've had issues with this book, but upon listening to more reviews, listening to why it was written the way it was written, um, I have picked Ribs by Lord for this one. And I, I feel this one can probably go with a lot of young adult dystopians, dystopians, oh my god, contemporaries. So I just was talking about two dystopians, so forgive me, uh, contemporaries. Um, but, you know, just that idea of growing up, maybe being afraid of getting older, etc., really fits a story like Looking for Alaska. It really fits somebody like Miles who, you know, um, wants to seek the great perhaps and loves people's uh, final words and stuff like that. The next one I am going to, the next well, song and book I'm going to pick is, um, what was it? Oh, it was The Elegance of the Hedgehog and 2-1 uh, by Image and Heap, uh, just because the lyrics talk about things not being always what they seem, and this is about a woman in France who is a concierge, and basically in her society, uh, people like her social status and stuff 
aren't really known or believed to be interested in like intellectual things. So I thought that song kind of uh, went with that one. And I want to say Ellipse by Imogen Heap is really underrated. Imogen Heap is an underrated artist. She is so clever with music and lyrics and everything. If you haven't listened to her, uh, just go listen to the entire Ellipse album. Um, and then finally at number one, I'm going to say Fake Happy. Did I finish the song? Yeah, Fake Happy by Paramore, and I'm pairing it with Beauty Queens by Libra Bray. Um, just because, you know, this is about a group of beauty queens who crash on an island, and, you know, they crash in the water, whatever. Um, and, you know, you learn about some of their backstory and some of their struggles and everything. And, you know, just a song about uh, kind of displaying happiness, but um, not really feeling that. I think, if, like, if they made a movie, they probably should put that song in there somewhere. But anyways, that was my Friday Five. Um, hope you guys liked it, and thanks for watching. Goodbye.